This is a quick little video to show how to properly or easily take your um, prints um, from your 3D resin printer off of the build plate. Um, and it can be any type of 3D resin printer. This is an Elegoo Mars um, 2 Pro, but you can use anything. Most 3D printers this size, like consumer level, work about the same build plate, fat, dunking your stuff upside down. When it's done, it's hanging, it looks like this. So here's what you do. Um, first, you wanna put gloves on. You can use um, nitro gloves, the disposable kind. Um, I've made a video about these ones before. These are the um, the Dext Fit uh, reusable nitro gloves, the FN something something, a special number on it, but they're about you know ten or twelve bucks for a three pack of these, and they last pretty much for months and months and months. We take care of them. Uh, glove up. I got this little tray. I mentioned it before. It's just a plastic tray. I got the dollar store. It's got a nice little rubber stopper. I put a shop towel, fold it in half. Boom. Could be a paper towel. Could be a napkin for all the care for all you care. Uh, you put this down here, you unscrew your plate, and then gently, I always leave my plate after after a print is done, I let it sit like this for at least an hour, maybe two hours, to let all the resin drip off. The Elegant Mars and other printers have, this comes with a little bracket that you can put on here, and it tilts the plate at like a 45 to drip it back in, but it's a really tight fit, and then resin always keeps, drips off the side or gets in the thing or under the bat, and I don't want to mess with it. So an hour or more of just sitting here is pretty good. Then I take it off, I gently, oh, one drop came off, it's just one drop. You know, give it a shake, and it usually is okay. I'll set it here, and you know, always have paper towels on hand for your mistakes. Like this. Uh, da -da -da. Wiped up. So this is here. Uh, I've got gloves on, and um, wear gloves because you'll. Some people are like, oh, just a little bit of resin in my hands. Yeah, but if you get resin, is an irritant, and if you get it on your hands and then touch your eyes, your eyes are gonna be red and wonky, and you're not gonna want that. <laughs> what I do is I get a paper towel. I wipe around the edges, um, just the edges. I don't care about the back. I'm not really, that resin's not affecting anything because I'm just gonna hold this from the edges. Um, but what I'm not gonna do, ladies and or gentlemen watching, I am not, when I scrape this, I am only gonna hold the plate by the plate. I am not gonna hold the plate by this bracket because this bracket has a screw and that's a screw you loosen when you level your plate. If you're holding, well, it has two screws actually. If you're holding this thing and really cranking down on it, holding, holding, that, holding that bracket, you're gonna unlevel your plate and you're gonna mess up your next print. Don't do that. Uh, I did that a lot when I first got my printer and I was having failures every second or third time I printed for no reason that I could discern. That was the reason. Once I started holding the plate like this by the sides, nice and firm, I have never had a failure because of that. And failures from other things, but I've done this and had 20, 30 prints you know, in a row without, without any issues. So what I will say, this is, these are two, this is a Umber Hulk and a um, Hooked Horror, Hooked Horror it looks like. So they're a little bit wider. A lot of times you'll have two rows of minis on a smaller plate like this one. I start at the top and I go down. Uh, when you have two rows, you wanna be careful with the top one because you're closer to where your fingers are, especially on the, on the on this side of the plate. Be careful, you wanna come in more down. Um, long story short, you wanna have this at like a 45 degree angle and you wanna be at a 45 degree angle of, at the plate. Like So 45 here and then 45 lifted up. So 45, 45. And you, all you wanna do is get the scraper with the, you know, the, the scraping, the knife blady, you know, like the little serration side up. And you just wanna wedge it in here. This is, these are medium supports with, with a litchi slicer. It's the same thing for uh, chew through box or chew through box, whatever it's called. Uh, actually chew, chew through boxes um, support little bases, have a little lip on them so it makes it even easier. But you're just, regardless of what, what slicer you're using, you're just gonna make your own. What you wanna do is 45 degree angle. Just at first, you just wanna get in there and just wedge it, wiggle it back and forth. You wanna wiggle it back and forth on the plate, even if it's stuck really bad. You don't wanna force through it because if you force through it, if you have any delicate stuff on here, you might break through and start just ripping supports off right through when, on this cold resin and it's gonna like destroy, your, destroy any fine detail on your plate. But you wanna wiggle sideways, go through, same thing, this side is started, so that would be one individual miniature. Most of the time, this is a big miniature, it's a big you know, monster. This is the, the, the dangerous side of the plate, the, the top, this quadrant is the worst part. So I like to bring it down almost vertically and get that off, like I just did, uh, luckily. And then click that off, click that off. You know, people will say, oh, push hard, push hard. I would say wiggle and wiggle and try and find angles versus pushing hard. Because like I said, pushing hard can really destroy a print, especially if it's, a, if it's a more delicate, smaller miniature. So that came off pretty well. Got a little blob there, boom, boom, boom. Same thing with this one, holding the plate. And if you have things that are at a weird angle, you can always turn the plate and hold it, um, you know, hold it the other way for the stuff on this side. But I like it, This I'm stoked when this part's gone. I love the second half because it's easier. But just remember to hold the plate and not to put any pressure on that bracket as you go. Same thing, we're gonna try and wiggle here. Find a little bit of foothold if we can. Ooh, that's a nice one. 
Sometimes you'll break off little pieces of the of the base. If you do that, be careful not to start wiggling. Oh, that just popped right off. Careful, if you break off a piece of the base, careful not to wiggle too many of the other sports, especially if you have fine detail like small fingers and stuff like that or swords because you can't break them, like I said before. But that's it. Um, when the plate's done, what I do, give it a little scrape with a scraper. Get any pieces that are stuck. Usually you have a pretty clean thing. Um, pretty clean situation. I get a paper towel. Doo -doo -doo. And um, I use Mean Green as my first step for cleaning. I go Mean Green, then I do Mean Green Sonic, you know, Hydrosonic Bath, then I do um, some squirt bottle, ISO, and then I do water, four steps, but it goes pretty quickly. I have videos on that on this channel you can check out. Um, but first off, I dip this in this Mean Green that I'm using to rinse my fingers. Wipe this off, keep my tools nice and clean. Um, pitch that, I don't want to get Mean Green in my, in my vat, so I'm gonna use a fresh paper towel. Um, I could have done this part first and saved a paper towel. And then all I'm gonna do is go here on the bat. See there's a little piece there, I'm gonna wipe, wipe it in there. I'm gonna wipe off any chunks or residue that are on here. I scraped it off pretty clean, it's clean, it's, it's, it's thick, but um, you might have little broken pieces of you know cured resin, you don't want those floating around your back, it'll stick on your next print, cause a failure possibly. But once that's wiped down, like I said, the top doesn't really matter, it can be gooey for all you care. Put it back on, this is ready to print again, and now you have your, um, your nicely removed you know, little guys ready to use whatever technique you're gonna use to clean them. I use uh, Mean Green, the Hydrosonic, and again, there's another video on this um, on my channel that shows how to do that, but this is just the thing on unscraping your prints uh, and getting them off the plate. Most importantly, like I said, only hold the plate, 45, 45 degree angle, at the top right quad quadrant, be careful so you don't slice your hand, which I've done before, and then just use more Rocking and wiggling and trying different angles and leveraging is better than brute force. Yes, you can't brute force stuff off, but it's gonna lead to breaking your model, cutting your hand, bending the, the bracket on your plate, and doing a bunch of stuff you just shouldn't do. So yeah, that, that's it. That's 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 a, that's a quick and easy way to um, clean your or to <laughs> take your remove uh, resin pieces off your build plate. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel or don't. I'm not the boss of you. Thanks for watching either way.